Hello everyone, welcome back to your own channel Study with Alka Kandwal. Study with Alka Kandwal channel में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है. जो मेरे परिवार का हिस्सा बन चुके हैं, उनको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद. और जो चैनल में पहली बार आ रहे हैं, उनके लिए एक brief introduction. I am Alka Kandwal and the channel is an educational channel wherein we talk about mathematics and we cover up the entire topics from grade seven till grade ten as of now. And computer is a very important part in all the competitive exams. We see that computer, uh, lots of questions around 20 to 25 questions are asked from this particular section. So a separate playlist has been dedicated for this sole purpose. So that jo computer background ke bhi nahi hai, to unko bhi ye particular section ko solve karne mein problem na ho. Kyunki humko realize hota hai ki ek, ek half, and half marks also it is of utmost importance when we give the competitive exam so that is why keeping that in focus a separate playlist has been dedicated for that purpose then pgt and tgd computer science so grade 11 and 12 those who are in this class they also can get the benefit out of the discussion and obviously who are applying for the post they will also get benefited so if you have not yet like share and subscribe make sure you are liking the channel sharing and subscribing to the channel and motivating me to come up with many such sessions so let us start with today's session so let me tell you a situation there was a boy and uh, his name was soham let us take soham so soham goes to a museum he likes going to the museum. So he thinks ki chalo, is bar weekend mein museum ghoomne chalte hain. Toh wo dekhta hai ki wahan pe bhoot saari cheeze hain. Toh ek jagah wahan pe likha hota hai ki the dinosaur existed 10, 10 to the power of 8 years back. Ab wo sushta hai ye koon sa number hai. Abhi tak maini ye asa type ka number toh ek kabhi maini dekha hi nahi tha. Toh usko samjhane ke liye let us start with the session today that what is the information uh, he came across and what is the meaning of that particular information. So let us have a look at it. So we said that the dinosaur existed 10 to the power of 8. So this was the format of the number he came across. So 10, this 10 is known as the base. What is it known as? Base. This 8 is known as the exponent. Matlab, isko read kaise karte hai? 10 to the power of 8. Or usko calculate kaise karenge? 10 into 10 into 10. Means, what do we mean? When we talk about, let me write one thing here. Then you will get a more clear picture. Multiplication. Many times. Many times is called the power. Is the power. Now, for example, we are talking about 10 to the power of 8. Iska matlab kya hua? 10 multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, 1, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. 10 to the power of 8. So, multiplication many times is the power. For example, I tell you 2 to the power of 4. Iski value kya hogi? So, many of the children, they get confused. 2 into 4 kar dete hai, answer 8 bol dete hai. Wo wrong hai. 2 power 4 matlab 2, 2, 2, 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. 2 to the power of 4 ki value kya hoogi? 16. Agar maine ek question poochha ki 3 to the power of uh, 4 and 4 to the power of q, 3. In dono mein koon sa bada hooga? If we talk about 3 power 4, 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27, 27, 3 is a 81. Is ki value to 81 ho gai. Or 4 power 3 ki value kya hoogi? 4 into 4 into 4. That is 64. So, which value will increase? Obviously, if we look at it quickly, some of you might think that 4 is big, so 4 ki value nahi. We have to do the calculation and then we have to come to the conclusion that which number, what is the relationship they are holding. So, 3 to the power of 4 is greater than 4 to the power of 3 in this case. Is it not? So that is the basics of your exponent and power. So what is the picture we got till now? Ki jase koi bhi number hai, jase 2 to the power of 4 hai. To iska matlab, we are multiplying it 4 times. We are multiplying the number 4 times. And the result we are getting as 16. So here, can we have numbers with negative exponent? Aisa ho sakta hai ki negative exponent hai. 
क्या ऐसा कोई नंबर है टू टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस फोर ऐसा नंबर हो सकते हैं जी हाँ जरूर हो सकते हैं सो हाउ डू वी रिप्रेजेंट दिस नंबर एज वन बाई टू टू द पावर ऑफ फोर मतलब कभी भी आपको ये जो नेगेटिव एक्सपोनेंट है इसको पॉजिटिव बनाना है तो वी विल प्लेस द नंबर इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी विल बी गेटिंग वन बाई टू टू द पावर ऑफ फोर दैट इज वन बाई सिक्सटीन सो दैट विल बी द आंसर अगर क्वेश्चन में आ गया टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री मतलब क्या है इट मीन्स वन बाई टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री इसका मतलब है वन बाई थाउजेंड आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट अगर कोई है कि एट टू द पावर ऑफ टू है इसको अगर हमको नेगेटिव एक्सपोनेंट में रिप्रेजेंट करना है तो वन बाई एट टू एट टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टू सो वट आर वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ए टू द पावर ऑफ एम इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एट टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस एम या ए टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस एम कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाई एट टू द पावर ऑफ एम और एक और चीज यहां से हमको एक और चीज समझ में आती है कि ए टू द पावर ऑफ एम एंड ए टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस एम आर मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ ईच अदर वट डज दैट मीन नाउ अब जैसे मैंने बोला टू टू द पावर ऑफ फोर रैशनल नंबर भी मे भी हमने किया था टू टू द पावर ऑफ फोर का मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स क्या होगा टू टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस फोर वाई बिकॉज वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई टू टू द पावर ऑफ फोर इन टू 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 द पावर ऑफ माइनस फोर वी आर गेटिंग द रिजल्ट एज वन सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ए टू द पावर ऑफ एम एंड ए टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस एम आर मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ ईच अदर ठीक है मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ ईच अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन अ क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग दैट टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री वॉट इज द मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ दिस वन सो वन ऑप्शन इज टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस बी माइनस थ्री एंड द अदर क्वेश्चन इज वन बाई थाउजेंड सो वॉट विल बी द आंसर द आंसर विल बी सी बोथ ए एंड बी बोथ ए एंड बी देखो क्योंकि टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री तो ऑब्वियसली ये दोनों मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स है और टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री का मतलब क्या है यही है वन बाई थाउजेंड इज इट नो इट इज टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री मीन वॉट वन बाई टेन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री दैट इज वन बाई थाउजेंड सो द आंसर विल बी सी बोथ ए एंड बी इज इट फाइन I think this much is clear to all of you. Now there are certain laws of exponent which we must be aware of, so that it helps us in easy calculations. So let us see what are the laws of exponent. Are you all ready for it? Okay. So if we take if a is any non-zero integer, a is any non-zero integer, and m and n are any integers m and n are any integers fine now when we talk about the laws of exponent to hamesha ye yaad rakhna the first one says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to so see in mein kya case hai ki jo base hain unki values equal hain a to the power of m मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए टू दावर ऑफ एन तो बेस सेम है सो वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई सो वी कैन जस्ट टेक द बेस एंड देन वी कैन एड द एक्सपोनेट डज इट मेक सेंस अगर मैंने बोला टू टू दावर ऑफ टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू टू दावर ऑफ फाइव तो आंसर क्या होगा बेस तो टू ही रहेगा एंड एड द एक्सपोनेंट टेन प्लस फाइव दैट इज फिफ्टीन सो द आंसर विल बी टू टू दावर ऑफ फिफ्टीन सो दैट इज द आंसर a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n up similarly if the case is that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n so what will be the value a to the power of m minus n agar maine bola 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 5 to ye kya ho jayega we can because the base is the same and we need to divide we will just subtract the exponent so the answer will be 2 to the power of 5 that is the answer fine now the third one agar koi number jaise ye hai a to the power of m hai or whole to the power of n hai to iska answer aa jayega a to the power of m n yes for example maine bola 2 to the power of 3 whole to the power of 2 to so, main kya kar dun ki 2 to the power of 3 into 2 so answer aayega 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 6 will be the answer to this so these are the first three basic laws of exponent 
Then we move ahead and let us see the fourth one. Fourth one kya hai? Uh, let us have a look that if a to the power of m and b to the power of m. Ab yaha pe base different hai, magar exponent same hai. Toh hum kya kar sakte? Base ko multiply kar dete hai. A multiplied by b to the power of m. Jaysay ki 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 5 to the power of 5. So we can write it as 2 into 5, 10, 10 to the power of 5. This way we can write it down. Now when we come to the fifth one, it is similar to what we have written here. Ki multiply. Agar same, agar a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. Yes, so we can write it as a divided by b to the power of m. So that is the answer here. So this is the other law of exponent and the sixth one is any number to the power of 0 is always 1. Agar maine bula 5 to the power of 0, uski value 1 hogi. Or 2 to the power of 0 hai, uski value 1 hogi. 1000 hai, us to the power of 0 is 1. So this is another law of exponent. So these laws you have to remember. Now for example, based on the these laws only, they will ask you like a question like this. For example, let us take that there is an insect and the weight of the insect, weight of one insect is, weight of one insect is 9 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. Okay, question is what will be the weight of, what will be the weight of 1.2 into 10 to the power of 4 insect. So we have to multiply, yes, because weight of one insect is this, so we need to find the weight of these many insects. So what we will do? What we will do? So total weight will be equal to 9 into 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by 1.2 into 10 to the power of 4. So ye or ye to multiply ho jayega. 1.2 into 9 ho jayega. 10.8 into this multiplied by this. Matlab base same hai. We can add the exponent. 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 4. Base same as the exponent ko add kar diya. So 10.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 4 matlab 1 hi hai. So 10.8 into 10 will become 108 kg. So that is the answer. So agar ye laws nahi pata hota, da, tab hum log sochte ki ye solve kar rahe hote, ye solve kar rahe hote. So that is why the laws become very very important. Are you understanding? So multiply karte samay, divide karte samay, humara base same hai, humko check out karna hai and then we will we can have a clear picture of it. Now, when we talk about the entire chapter, so is me kuch bhi nahi hai. First, we have to understand this, for example, 3 power 2. This is the base. This 2 is the exponent. Very important. Then we talk about, uh, whenever we are talking about very large numbers or very small numbers, then the concept of exponents are generally used. Like if we are talking about 10 dinosaur existed, 10 to the power of 8, we will not say it 1, 0, 0, 0 years back. We will not say like that. 10 to the power of 20, 10 to the power of 30. So when we come across very large or very small, like 10 to the power, it was so small, like 10 to the power of minus 20. So representing very large and very small numbers becomes very easy with the help of the exponent. Then jo hamare laws hain, jo humne padha ki a to the power of m into a to the power of n, base same hai, exponent ko add kar do, or agar divide, multiply karna hai, divide karna hai, to phir hum log a to the power of m minus n karenge, a to the power of m to the power of n becomes a to the power of m n. Any number to the power of 0 is always 1. And when we talk about a to the power of m and b to the power of m, bases are different, but the exponents are the same. So base ko multiply kar do, exponent ko ye kar do. a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m becomes a divided by b to the power of m. So these are the laws of exponent. Agar ye yaad hai, so there will be no problem in solving out the question. Now let us do some questions, then it will be more clear to you all. Fine. Agar maine question diya ki 5 to the power of m divided by 5 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 5. Ab find the value of m. We need to find the value of m. So, what is it? It is divided. So, what do we do? Exponent ko base same. So, exponent ko subtract. Karenge. m minus minus 3. 
इज इक्वल टू फाइव टू द पावर ऑफ फाइव तो इसको हम लिख सकते हैं फाइव टू दाइव टू द पावर ऑफ एम प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू फाइव टू द पावर ऑफ फाइव सिंस द बेस इज द सेम लेट एस इक्वेट द एक्सपोनेंट इक्वेट द एक्सपोनेंट करेंगे तो एम प्लस थ्री इज फाइव सो वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एम एम इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस थ्री दैट इज नथिंग बट टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एम कम्स आउट टू बी टू इज इट फाइन क्योंकि हमको ये पता था कि बेस सेम है डिवाइड है तो हम लोग ये प्रॉपर्टी लगाने वाले हैं सो दैट इज हाउ यू विथ सॉल्व इट फाइन नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन गो विद द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Is it fine? Any doubt? Do definitely comment on the chat box. I am definitely there to solve out your queries. अगर ऐसे क्वेश्चन आ गए, अब क्या किया जाए? अब हमने ये पढ़ा था कि a to the power of m to the power of n को हम ऐसे लिख सकते हैं a to the power of m n लिख सकते हैं। तो इसको मैं ऐसे लिख सकती हूँ minus two power by three minus two into two that becomes minus four. अब हमको इसको इस, मुझे इस एक्सपोनेंट को पॉजिटिव करना है तो मैं डिनोमिनेटर को न्यूमरेटर बना देती हूँ न्यूमरेटर को डिनोमिनेटर नेगेटिव वी कैन कीप हेयर आल्सो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम माइनस थ्री बाई टू तो ये हमारा एक्सपोनेंट पॉजिटिव हो गया तो अब क्या होगा माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू सो थ्री थ्री जो नाइन नाइन थ्री जो ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन थ्री जो एटी वन And two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen. So answer is eighty-one by sixteen. Yes. So that is the answer. Is it fine? So that is the logic. This is how you apply the laws, and it becomes very, very, very important to revise the laws again and again. Rewrite it. उसके बाद प्रैक्टिस करना फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने बोला जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन सिक्स है इसको मुझे एक्सपोनेंट के फॉर्म में रिप्रेजेंट करना है तो हमने क्या करना है ये डेसिमल कहाँ है यहाँ है इस डेसिमल को कोशिश करो यहाँ पे लाने की कहाँ पे यहाँ पे इस वाले पॉइंट में तो हमको कितने जंप करने पड़ेंगे वन जंप टू जंप एंड थ्री जंप तो हम ऐसे लिखेंगे वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस थ्री लेफ्ट साइड से राइट आने में कितने जंप्स करने पड़े थ्री जंप्स सो द एक्सपोनेंट बिकम्स माइनस थ्री और फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई से जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 थ्री जीरो टू अब इसको क्या करेंगे इसको पहले थ्री पॉइंट जीरो टू ले आते हैं इसको स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म बोलते हैं ओके वी आर राइटिंग इट इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म तो अब अगर मुझे यहाँ पे लाना है इस डेसिमल को हाउ मेनी जम्स वी विल पुट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस सिक्स सो दैट इज योर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी हैव वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज इट फाइन so do revise the chapter solve your exercise nahi aa raha hai koi question so definitely just put it in the chat box and i will solve it for you fine so let us hope that we meet again soon till then everyone take care of yourself and make sure you are liking sharing and subscribing to the channel thank you everyone